Uh, today is May 1st, 2020, uh, the first day of Mental Health Awareness Month. And this is Max, the Mental Health Warrior, and I've decided to make a video a day, no matter how good I feel or anxious or depressed I feel. Um, and I've decided to make video outreaches to celebrities who have come out about their struggles uh, with mental illness. Um, the first video is uh, to Jared Padalecki from CW Supernatural. Um, I have uh, been a fan from the beginning. It's amazing to think that it's on its 15th season. And I am looking forward to seeing how Sam and Dean will defeat Chuck. Uh, my uh, favorite uh, season is a tie between season 3 and uh, season 7. Although I think it's se uh, 7 because I just love the Leviathans. Uh, William Patrick Stewart as Dick. And just that they were almost undefeatable. But a simple thing like Borax could, could, could destroy them. And it's kind of funny. That's kind of how depression and anxiety feels. It feels like unrelenting thoughts that are undefeatable. And I have struggled with anxiety and depression for most of my life. Uh, performing arts saved me, in fact. In high school, I uh, was on the comedy sports improv team, and I did theater. Um, currently, I'm a writer and a mental health advocate, a volunteer with NAMI. And I go to high schools uh, with NAMIs and the silence, and I talk about what mental illness is, uh, my struggles, and why it's nothing to be ashamed of, uh, and why there should be no stigma about it. Um, I am a firm believer that the link between mental illness and creativity is very strong. I think that's why you see a lot of celebrities like yourself, um, who are some of the best actors, musicians, poets, comedians who have struggled with inner turmoil. I also believe that it's a healthy outlet. It's a way of gathering your voice. And that is why I'm contacting um, celebrities because of my dream. Uh, my dream is to start a foundation tenderly titled Generation Now is This is a Generation, the current Generation Z that will end mental illness stigma. And I want to do it through performing arts. Um, and uh, I'm asking this because eventually I would love celebrities to be involved. I'm not asking for money or any, any commitment or anything. I'm just asking. I'm doing this video as how what you've done speaking out again about mental illness through Always Keep Fighting um, has inspired me and has inspired others. I, uh, I go, when I go to high schools, I ask, uh, has anyone seen Supernatural on CW? And four or five people raised their hand, and then I mentioned that you've struggled with depression and suicidal thought and thoughts, and they go, oh. And it, it humanizes, and it also makes you realize that mental illness will not kill your hopes and dreams that you can achieve what you want to. And my dream is to create this foundation. Uh, it would be threefold. The first part would be uh, internet-based. It would be a, a via Facebook, um, a, a private, private YouTube channel, etc. Um, Instagram would be a community where teens with mental illness can share some of their poetry, their com comedy, their short films, and um, share their creativity with each other across across America, and uh, also have um, amateurs as well as professional uh, comedians, actors, filmmakers, musicians um, help critique and give advice, and uh, uh, the uh, these teens helping nurture their talent. Uh, the second would be similar to the first, but would be clubs in cities across America. Like, I would uh, help one out here in Madison, Wisconsin, my home city, uh, where it would be very similar, um, where um, uh, you would have classes on filmmaking, uh, on music, on, 
on poetry, on comedy, with local um, com- com- comedians, poets, etc., from the from the local area, helping, mentoring, and growing uh, these young people's talents. And the third, and this is my favorite part, is benefit shows. Whether it's one big show uh, like uh, Stand Up to Cancer or Red Nose Day or what I would prefer, um, shows across America in various cities, one in May, Mental Health Awareness Month, one in October, uh, mid-October, Mental Health Awareness Week. And one of the cool things that I like the shows, it, maybe the October shows, to be held in high school auditoriums. And it would be 60-40, 60% teen performers, 40% adult performers with lived experience, uh, with the funds uh, raised going to Nami Dane County, uh, or going to this foundation, going to back back into organizations like Always Keep Fighting that help fight stigma. I mean, just imagine having a show like this maybe in like four or five years in San Antonio, and you'd be able to come. Someone who has literally been where they are. I mean, I have done In the Silence at Memorial High School, uh, my high school, and there's something cathartic as well as being able to say, I was where you are, and mental illness did not hold me back, and mental illness will not hold you back. So, um... Uh, I don't like giving my personal information on uh, over YouTube, um, but if you are interested, uh, leave a comment uh, in the comments below, and I will call your people because I have no people, and um, I hope that this can be a dream, and I really am looking forward uh, to you, well, Sam. Dean, Castiel, and Jack defeating Chuck, defeating Chuck and wondering how the series will end because the series will end, but just like life, the story never ends. Uh, thank you so much, Jared, and uh, thank you for uh, your work on Supernatural and thank you for your work fighting uh, mental illness stigma. Thank you.